Hey, what's going on guys? This is Eric and I'm going to show you guys how to integrate Code Ignite over HTML5 boilerplate. So what you want to do is you want to go to Google and go to codeignite.com, download the, the, the version that you have right now. So click on it and go to html5boilerplate.com and download either one, the stripped or the commented one. Okay, now close Google, go to downloads, and extract both folders. Next, open up your editor. I'm going to open up Eclipse. I'm going to make a new project. I'm going to call it on. Um, so you're going to call it code, and it's going to be located in the root directory of your LAMP server, WAMP, or whatever you're running. So click on finish. Open it up. Now, open up the code igniter for it. And I'm only going to take up, like, three folders. I'm going to leave out the license and the user guide. So click, control, click, and then control, click, and then just drag them in. Okay, I'll close it. Open up the body plate. Now we're gonna click here and then control A to select everything. And I'm going to um so I'm just gonna drag it in. And I'm gonna delete this one actually. Close it. I go to application. Config. Um, config PHP, and you want to type in your the URL. So HTTP co colon four slash localhost. Since I called it um code, I'm just gonna put colon and then the forward slash. Go to auto load and you could auto load whatever you want, but I'm just gonna go with the URL helper, save it, and config. Don't forget to save it as well. Okay, now go to auto load, I mean to routes, and here I'm gonna take this one out actually, I'm gonna call it home. Okay. Now close it, minimize this, and go to controllers, create a new controller, um, call it home.php. Oh, you know what, I did something stupid, hold on. Uh, open up code ignite, I mean, the boilerplate again, and um, just open this one like in a small editor or something, I'm going to open up with Genie. Okay, copy, okay, now close it again. So in here, what you want to do is you want to type in PHP, and um, this is just the home page. Let's call it nine point three. Um, so name it home, and it's going to extend the controller. I'm going to create a basic function on an index, and we're going to load a view. And this view is going to be called template, and it's going to accept the parameter of data. Now, in here we're going to create an array, and this array is just going to be called data as well. And we're going to put here like title, and this is going to be the title of um, whatever your page is. So I'm going to call this home page. And then I'm going to put main content and I'm going to associate it with the home view. You're going to see what I mean by that. Okay, save it. Now go to views, create a folder called includes. 
Now create another, create a file inside called um, header.php. Create another one called aside.php. And create another one called footer.php. Now create here and abuse, create another file, but you're going to name it template now. So file. Um, template.php and actually over here on home go back and in here yeah I, I did it actually but never mind so in here we're gonna create it I already created this one so open it so here's where we're gonna paste in that thing okay now what you want to do is you want to go to the link and type in your echo the base URL and this is why we auto loaded the URL um, helper. Now cut this and put it inside. And do the same for the for the JavaScript. So cut it. Okay, save it. Now in here, what you want to do is you want to load the view here. So load. You want to down to load the the header, but you have to put in the includes my bad. So includes slash header, and we're gonna create another one here called aside, and we're gonna do the same thing here. So in here, just put the same includes and then a side. And I'm actually just going to copy this. I should have done the same on the other one. Copy it. Okay. Paste. And we're just going to put in here footer. And in here, <coughs> what I'm going to do is just going to say um, the same thing. But in here, I'm just going to put main content. Main content <coughs> and then the title just put in title so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go to the home controller I'm gonna go to like to the home controller in the URL and it's going to load the template view so once it loads the template view it's gonna load this one and it's telling it to load the header the aside and the and the footer so that's going to stay constant but the main content is going to change so it's going to look for main content now the main content I made it to be um, home B so I got to create another one called home B for home view PHP so I'm just going to put dummy text on the so to make sure so h1 um, this is the header text e norm Save and close. This is the side text. Norm. Save and close. And the same thing here. Save and close. Now in here I'm just gonna put in the same thing. Okay. So close that. And I think it should it should work. Let me see if I'm missing anything. I'm just going to format it. Okay. Save it. Now open up Google. 
Okay. So I'm just gonna type in localhost forward slash um, code index.php and then just uh, home. So you can see, well, something happened here. This is the home kit. Mm. Oh, yeah, I didn't put any lower, but that's okay. So you can see now you have the dummy text for all of this ones that are going to stay constant and all you have to change is the text for the body. So I can make a new one right here, a new controller actually called like um, you know, contacts or something, contact page. So contact.php and I can create a controller for it to take you to the, to the contact page. So skip this actually. Um, contact and then I'll just create another function here and I'm actually just going to do the same thing here but instead now I'm just going to type in here contact and save it so all I have to do now is create another um, another view called contact view .php. So here I'm just going to create each one, and this is the contact view. Okay. So I now go over here and type in contact, and now you have the contact. So there's how you could use it for code igniter and um, HTML5 boilerplate, and you would also have the the same styles for every single one of them, as well as the JS, which you could change from the <coughs> from the um, the local root right here, which is this one right here, the CSS and the JavaScript. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe and if you guys want any more um, code ignited videos, just tell me.